All right, have and have not fans. Now, this is just a question I want to ask you all. Now, we know that season six was was labeled the most emotional season, and that's on my to-do list for videos, you know, answering the question, did I think that season six was truly the most emotional season yet? Uh, the tagline for season seven is the deadliest season yet. And I am a bit skeptical at that title. I I can't I can't lie. It is a very eye-catching slogan. But let me just put it this way. Somebody better die. <laughs> um, I don't know how many episodes season seven is slated to be. I have not checked IMDb because the show is going to be off for six months. So until we get like a bunch of titles and uh, character listing. I'm not really too interested because there's something behind the scenes that I was told and I'm not going to say who told me nor will I say what exactly was told to me because it will reveal a bit too much but it really depends on the episode count. Let, let me put it this way. Not to talk too much about my was season six the most emotional season yet video which I'll do probably over the weekend but Season six was a bit disappointing and I've said this in live streams and previous videos. I get it. It's for ratings to, you know, oh my God, did so-and-so die or whatnot? You know, did, did Justin and Jeffrey get shot in the head when Justin pulled the triggers? Did, did, did Veronica really dr die when David dr uh, attempted to drown her in the pool? Um, during the shootout at the beginning of the finale were David and Jeffrey killed. Then at the end of the episode, Wyatt, is he dead when he got shot by the cop? Is Catherine dead after being shot by Wyatt? Is Jim dead after being shot by Wyatt? I highly doubt anybody's dead. Um, we already talked about the David on the phone theory. We already talked about, oh, what if it being a dream? So there were way too many cliffhanger false calls just to get people's blood pressure up. It worked for ratings. It worked for trending online. It worked for my channel when I did videos about it, but... Don't put the deadliest season in the tagline if no one of importance is going to die. Like, I don't mean, oh, we have some nameless cops or thugs or, you know, henchmen who get shot and whatnot. I don't care. If you say deadliest, you better mean it. There better be some major character deaths. So like, not the okay. And we all know how I feel about Benny White, Jeffrey, and Justin. I could do about those characters. But if you really want to leave a lasting impact, kill one of the main characters. Now, I'm not even going to pick. I'll leave that up to you in the comment section below. I might do a whole video on that, like which main character do you want to die the most. To be completely honest, I'm just going to say I think most people want Wyatt to die. And when I say main character, I mean from the young Harrington or Cryer family. Not, I still consider these characters B-tier, you know, um, Justin, Madison, Landon, Charles, uh, Mitch, just to name a few off the top of my head. But I feel like when you have taglines like this, it's going to get old. And trust and believe, there were plenty of people who were pissed that Veronica was alive. Because it's like, you they've quote-unquote killed Veronica way too many times in this show, and none of them have stuck. So I feel that... As a viewer, you could have a great season seven, but don't advertise it as the deadliest season if no one of importance is going to die. I feel like you're lying to the fans. It's like clickbait on the internet, whether it be an article headline or a YouTube video. Don't clickbait the audience when it comes to this show, because Tyler Perry, here's my thing. If you, you're putting out all this new content this fall, which I do hope does well, not to mention Greenleaf has a strong fan base. Ambitions is getting a strong fan base bigger and bigger each week. Not to mention all these other uh, drama and television series out here. I honestly feel like not only having a six month hiatus, then coming back with a season labeled the deadliest season, but you don't kill anyone off. I fear he might turn more people away from the show. I want to be completely honest here because you have to keep in oh, my elbow hit my desk. Um, you have to keep it honest here. A lot of people aren't watching the haves and the have nots. I know the ratings are still high and everything, but some, a lot of people aren't able to watch the show due to their um, cable provider dropping own or it being too expensive so they can't afford it anymore. So they have to resort to, you know, 
um, less than desirable means of watching the show on the internet th throughout various sources. So I feel like if you want to continue to have dedicated viewers, you really need to spice things up. Like there are only so many fake deaths we can have before we just say yeah, enough. It's like in the MCU, how many times has there been a successful superhero film and nobody of importance dies aside from maybe the villain or whatnot, you know, um, infinity war and Endgame game don't count, <laughs> but I, I feel that if it's really the deadliest season, you really need to make it the deadliest season. I'll leave it up to you. Who do you think should die and whatnot? Hopefully it's not one of those situations where they bring a character back just to be killed off like Celine or Quito and whatnot. I definitely think like, remember when Amanda got killed off and then we thought like, oh man, as the show progresses, they'll probably pick off main characters. Nope. And then uh, Benny did say in that one interview, it's going to be a lot of deaths. You know, if, if the, if the show was like a, a cat, then everybody's on their last life. I don't know if he was referring to season six or seven. I mean, he said this interview like around the time they were filming or right after they filmed season seven. So I don't know. Who knows? This upcoming season might pick off a lot of characters, but I do believe over the next couple of weeks, they will be working more extensively on seasons eight and nine. So from behind the scenes, if certain characters post certain things and I know they won't be killed off, but we all know that I can do about Wyatt, Jeffrey, Benny, Justin, they could all be killed off for all I care. I don't think Veronica's going anywhere anytime soon. I highly doubt that. Um, but those are just my thoughts. I, I feel like I would be real. I know not just me. I feel like a lot of viewers will be cheated, not only because you're hyping it up as the deadliest season, but once again, the fact that there's a six month break in between means you got to come back with a bang next season. Now, here, here, I, I'm just saying this is something they could do. Maybe episode one is following up on all the criers being shot, getting people's reaction. And maybe at the end of episode one or episode three, we realize, oh, snap, it was a dream because, you know, maybe the first episode or two is the reaction of the other characters to the deaths. I'm just saying that would be pretty interesting. But other people think the shootings were real. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, the cast have told me season seven is going to be is going to blow me away. So I, I I mean the fact that they told me lets me know that okay they're they're working on something good. So I I'll keep my optimism a little bit higher <laughs> than I thought I would after I got those messages. But let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll talk to you soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you in the next video.